hello. It's good to see you today. We are back with a big, heavy box of retro candy bars. I haven't opened it yet. It still has the shrink wrap on it. This is from the Vintage Candy Company. I bought this on Amazon. And I don't even know what kind of candy bars we're going to find in here. But today, we're going to start looking through here. And we're going to see what kind of candy bars we can find. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the shrink wrap and we will get started. Okay, once we remove the shrink wrap and the little paper band that goes around the box, you will see that the box looks like the other candy boxes that we have done from the Vintage Candy Company. And I think this is maybe the fourth one we've done, third or fourth. I don't know, but I didn't even know until recently that they had a box that was just candy bars. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Okay. Yeah, I do kind of I do kind of wonder how many of these are going to be, you know, like regional things that unless you live in that area you wouldn't be familiar with. So like we do with the Goodwill jewelry bags, I'm just going to kind of push it over here and you can look at them here. Every one of these boxes comes with a little a little brochure. I didn't think this one mentioned candy bars. Maybe the candy bar box is a new one. And see, they have the decades that start in the 40s and go all the way up through the 90s. And then they have some like Easter, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. That's pretty cool. Halloween. Oh, they have a Halloween box. That's cool. Okay. But and they don't sponsor me. I just lo I love these boxes. All right. Now let's see what we have here on top. Some people have complained that I don't crinkle the candy enough in these boxes. I do apologize. But for every person who thinks I don't crinkle them enough, there's at least one person who thinks I crinkle them too much, so... I can't win. So ultimately, with every video, I just do whatever I feel like doing. With all due respect. Now, this is one I'm not familiar with. It looks yummy, though. It's a Pearson's Nut Goodie Maple Flavor. Real milk chocolate, roasted peanuts, and maple nougat. Now, we will not be trying any of these in this video today. We are just checking them out. We're just looking at the candies. The wrapper on this one is nice. Plastic. And you have the pretty little design here. And then this diagonal line. You have red here, green here. Interesting. Where is this made? I've never heard of this. St. Paul, Minnesota. It's gluten free. It has a little squirrel back here with the little crown. Interesting. Pierce, I don't know if it's pronounced Pearson's P-E-A-R-S-O-N apostrophe S. I'm assuming it is, but it may not be. This is a 1.75 ounce maple nut goodie. And I have to ask. Now it does have chocolate on it. I wonder if it's like the Brock's, you know, the Brock's maple nut goodies. Now they don't have chocolate. But I was just curious to know if they're similar, except for the chocolate. Okay. Well, here's one I haven't seen in forever. It's a Goo Goo Cluster. What? The original. Oh my gosh. I haven't had one of these in years. Oh my gosh. I haven't even seen a Goo Goo Cluster in a long time. The original Southern Confection, made since 1912. 
how to enjoy. Tear open, place in mouth, chew carefully. I've had dates that went kind of like that. This uh, Goo Goo Cluster is 1.75 ounces, just like the Maple Nut Goody. Look at the layers of goodness in there. This is the original. You get peanut, caramel, and nougat covered in milk chocolate. Ooh. It seems to me that the only place I've seen these in years is like the little gift shop area at Cracker Barrel. They always have stuff like this. But I couldn't tell you the last time I saw Goo Goo Clusters in just a regular store. I spent ages. And... We have a chunky bar. Look at that. Now, I'll be honest with you, I was never a big fan of these. They are chunky though, look at that. Now, a chunky bar is milk chocolate with peanuts and raisins. And it was the raisins that kind of ruined it for me. I don't, I don't like raisins in chocolate. I just, they don't belong there. I like raisins, but I don't want them in my candy bar. You can get in touch. You can call them or email them. You could email them about your chunky bar and tell them all about your chunky experience. This bar has no artificial flavors or colors, so you can eat healthy with this. This thing weighs 1.4 ounces. Yay, look at that shiny silver. It's like space food. Okay. Now this one, this is one I have, I don't think I've ever seen one of these. We have cup of gold from, what does that say, Hoffman's? It's kind of hard to read. Cup of gold. It looks like, kind of looks like a Reese's cup with questionable stuff in it. Look at that. What is this? It's the original cup of gold. A cup of gold indeed. Let's see here. A Adams and Brooks Incorporated San Bernardino California. I was trying to read this up here. Oh, there's a whole little story. Need supreme indulgence? Strike it rich with the original cup of gold. Exclamation point. The big single cup is back with all the creamy milk chocolate, toasted almonds, that hint of coconut, and the signature creamy center. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? The signature creamy center that has made Cup of Gold a winning favorite for decades. Try it again or for the first time. Go ahead. You deserve a cup of gold. Is that like cup of soup? Look at that. Looks like somebody has some weird teeth. Look at the teeth marks in this thing. It's like it got bitten by a gopher or something. This is 1.25 ounces. They're getting smaller. I wonder if it comes in a little paper like a Reese's cup. I don't know. So what, what's in it again? Uh, what does it have? Creamy milk chocolate, toasted almonds, hint of coconut and the signature creamy center. We don't know what it is and we're not going to tell you. You just have to try it. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't know. Oh no, I know I like these. Look. It's a Heath bar. Oh my word. I love Heath bars. Now these are so Yummy. You can bag on American chocolate all you like. I don't care. These are good. These are really good. It's a milk chocolate English toffee bar. See, it's not very big and it's firm. These are so good. Oh my gosh. One thing that's really good is when you make chocolate chip cookies, but you use little chips of this stuff instead of chocolate chips. Oh man. 
that is a good cookie right there. And you can buy bags of Heath chips at the grocery store to make your cookies with. Or you could just make your own. You could get some Heath bars and just break them up. These are distributed by the Hershey Company. And this little bar is 1.4 ounces. So a Heath bar. And then a similar one. These are good too, but I like Heath bars better. We have Score which is a delicious milk chocolate bar with crisp butter toffee. But I just, I like Heath a little bit better. These are okay though. Score is also distributed by the Hershey Company and it says that it's delicious chilled. They don't say that about the Heath bar. I don't think I've ever had one chilled. This thing is gluten free. 200 calories per serving. This one is also 1.4 ounces and it looks fancy. See, it has a little crown in the O. So you know it's fancy. I guess it's like an, it's a Heath bar dressed up for the prom or something. What is this? Oh, a subscriber sent me one of these. And I remember it was really good, too. It was very rich. This is Chase's Cherry Mash from St. Joseph, Missouri. This is an American favorite since 1918. From the Chase. This is Chase's Candy Cop. It says that's Chase's Candy Cop. This is 2.5. 05 ounces, and you can see how thick that is right there. Does it tell us anything about it? A cherry. Well, it tells you how to make a cherry mash sundae. Melt two cherry mash bars with two tablespoons of milk while still warm. Pour over vanilla ice cream. Serves five or six. Cherry mash shake. Tell you how to make a cherry mash milkshake. Put in blender one cherry mash cut into small pieces, three fourths of a cup of cold milk, two scoops of vanilla ice cream, chocolate syrup to taste. Blend and enjoy. So it has a chocolate coating and then stuff in it. <laughs> it's a cherry mash. I don't think that's a thing that we have here, but yeah, a subscriber sent me one of these a while back. It's very cool, but we, you can't get those here. Not that I'm aware of, but again, if you go to Cracker Barrel, maybe you might be able to find it in a Cracker Barrel or something like that, perhaps. And there's another one. What's this? This is Christopher's. Big Cherry. Sounds like the name of a movie or something. It has a whole cherry center. This one is one and three quarter ounces. Let's see. The packaging is pretty. It's a nice light pink. These are from Adams and Brooks Incorporated, San Bernardino, California. Just like uh, that right there. So it has a whole cherry center. That's interesting. Now this is one I am not familiar with. Oh, cool. It's pretty though. Very nice. Oh, and we have a Hershey's Mr. Good Bar. This is a chocolate candy with peanuts. I remember when these used to come in a paper wrapper. You get roasted peanuts in every bite. So this tells you here that it's the back of the bar. So if you want to only look at the front, you're going to have to turn it over. It contains milk, peanuts, and soy, and a bunch of other shit. And this bar is 1.75 ounces from Hershey. They're okay. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but they're, they're all right. I have to say my favorite candy bar of all time would have to be a, um, a Butterfinger 
Butterfinger has always been my favorite candy bar. It's just so good. It's not the only one I like, but it's my favorite. And next, we have Goldenberg's Peanut Chews Original Dark. Hmm. Huh. I think I've seen these somewhere, but I've never tried these before. So it looks like it's a, you have dark chocolate, and then you have peanuts with perhaps caramel? Let's see what this says. Okay, they've been making these since 1917. Oh, isn't that interesting? They made like a little skyline. Skyline here is part of their barcode. And there's the Liberty Bell. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's supposed to be like the Philadelphia... Well, it's probably the Philadelphia Skyline because this is made by the Goldenberg Candy Company in Philadelphia. That would make sense. These chewy, chocolatey bites loaded with crunchy peanuts originally served as a World War I ration bar. Huh. We proudly continue this delicious tradition started by the Goldenberg family more than a hundred years ago. Well, that's pretty interesting. Since World War I, how about that? Nice, yeah, since 1917. Chewy, chocolatey bites loaded with crunchy peanuts. Very cool. How about that? That is really interesting. Hmm. And the next thing, we have our Clark Cups. That's interesting. I've seen Clark bars. I don't think I've ever tried a Clark Cup. These are peanut butter cups with a Clark crunch. It feels like you get two of them in here, kind of like Reese's Cups. Born in the Berg. Are these from Pittsburgh? I don't know. Manufactured by Boyer Candy Company, Altoona, Pennsylvania. I'm assuming it's Pittsburgh. Boyer. Interesting. And I'm trying to think of what a Clark bar tastes like. I don't think, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a Clark bar. I'm assuming it's crunchy because they say it has, these peanut butter cups have the Clark crunch. That's cool. What am I going to do out is candy? Save it for Halloween or something. I don't, I don't know. All right, now this. Ah, oh, my brother used to love these. I was never crazy about it, but my brother thought they were so good. This is a zero bar. And I remember my mom would sometimes drop us off at the movie theater while she went to do some grocery shopping on a Saturday. And she would give us a little bit of money, like she'd give us like an extra dollar. And back then you could get a candy bar and a drink for about a dollar at the snack bar. And sometimes he would get one of these zero bars. I tried it, I didn't really like it though. It's caramel, peanut, and almond nougat covered with white fudge. And to me, they, there's just, I don't know, there are too many flavors going on in here, and I didn't, I don't like the white fudge stuff on the outside. I just, I didn't like them. These are also distributed by the Hershey Company, and these are manufactured in Canada. How about that? This is a 1.85 ounce candy bar. And it's a zero. I don't really see these candy bars too often anymore. I know you can still get them, but I just don't think that these are as popular as like a Snickers or a Milky Way. And what do we have? Oh, this is definitely a movie theater thing. These little boxes of Raisinets. Oh my gosh. Now I like, I, I don't like the raisins. What are the, what are the chocolate covered peanuts? Was it goobers? They, they come in a box kind of like this, but instead of raisins, it's peanuts. Was, is it goobers? I don't remember. But I am not a big fan of chocolate-covered raisins. I just, I like raisins and I like chocolate, but I don't like them together. They just do not belong together. But these are great. They have no artificial flavors or colors. These are California raisins covered in chocolate. Okay, I'm like little rabbit turds or something. Milk chocolate made with whole fruit. 
trying to make it sound so wholesome. But you get your little movie theater box of raisinets. This is 3.1 ounces of vaguely gross little raisinets. Isn't that cool? And then we have Almond Joy. Now the other version of this would be Mounds. And Mounds, I think the only difference is the Mounds don't have almonds. This is a coconut and almond candy bar. And you can see the pretty picture of the coconut back here. And little almonds and a piece of chocolate. This is 1.61 ounces. It's gluten free. Made by Peter Paul. How about that? Oh, my joy. I think it's like two pieces and they sit on this little paper. There's a white paper tray that sits in here. And then in the middle you can feel that it's, I think it's two pieces, but it doesn't, there we go, like that. That's two pieces of candy in here for a total of 1.61 ounces. Okay. Now this is one that I don't think I've ever actually tried. I've seen them a million times. I don't think I have ever tried this. Boyer Milk Chocolate Mallow Cups. You can get these here, but I, when I was little, I would see these in a convenience store or something, and for some reason I found them to be sort of scary looking. <laughs> like, it, it's like my brain just goes, oh, run away, because it looks like a Reese's Cup, which I love, but then it has this weird stuff in it. And it just, to me, it just doesn't, it just does not look appealing to me. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think I have ever tried one of these. This is a total of 1.5 ounces. They are gluten free and it has a whipped cream center. So you have the milk chocolate outside and a whipped cream, and a whipped cream center. I don't know about that. I mean, it's probably fine. Just, I don't know, something about it just looks wrong, like it's from an alternate universe or something, and it's just not quite, not quite right. I need to stop comparing everything to Reese's Cups. They're not even my favorite candy bar, I don't know why I'm so concerned about it. Okay, and then, oh now these are good, I know these are good. It's a Three Musketeers bar. These are so good if you pop them in the freezer and let them freeze. Oh, they're so good frozen. This is 1.92 ounces. Whipped up fluffy chocolate on chocolate taste. And these are so yummy. The, the paper, the Mylar stuff is folded funny back here, but yes, three musketeers. I always buy some of these at Halloween and I usually eat them before I ever give them away. <laughs> I love, I have no control around those things. And then we have a Bar None. I think I have seen these before. Bar None. Iconic Candy. Manufactured in Turkey for Iconic Candy LLC, New York, USA. The Chocolate Lover's Bar. Well. I think I am familiar with this. It kind of reminds me of a whatchamacallit. It has chocolate wafer in here, pure milk chocolate, and a thin layer of peanuts right under the chocolate. And I, have, I haven't had a whatchamacallit in a long time, but I'm thinking that's kind of like what you find in a, in a whatchamacallit bar. I remember when the whatchamacallit came out, and I really liked them, and I, I got quite a few of them. I thought they were, I thought they were very yummy. I think we're going to kill this box off. Let's see. Um, yes, we will. We'll go through this whole box right now. What is, oh, Reeson. I love these, these little things. Now in the commercials, we used to have commercials on TV for this product. 
and in the commercial they pronounced it Reason. So if I'm saying it wrong, you can blame the commercial. They pronounced it Reason. It's this wax paper and it's chocolate and I don't remember. I think it might be caramel inside. So we have some little, little raisins. And looks like we have three of them now. I know these are good. I've had those before. Those are yummy. Okay, and oh, a good old Charleston chew. Oh, I used to like these when I was a kid. Try frozen. I've never tried one of these frozen though. This is vanilla flavored, artificially flavored. It's produced in a facility that does not use peanuts, tree nuts, or gluten. And again, there's a little tray, like a little paper tray in here to protect the Charleston chew to keep it from getting squished. I'm going to pop that one in the freezer and try it. I've never tried one of these frozen. I'm going to have to give that a try. Ooh. Ooh, these are good. The next one we have is snow caps. Now, these are totally movie theater candies right here. These semi-sweet chocolate non-pareils, or however you say it. It's like just a little chocolate chip with these little white candies on them. I think the only time I've ever eaten snow caps is in a movie theater. <laughs> and they're really good. They're kind of crunchy. They have no added artificial flavors or colors. This is a 3.1 ounce box. And they look like a little hat. It does look like snow caps. It looks like it has snow on top of them. But it's just little chocolate chips with the little the little candies on them. It's so good. But I don't, yeah, I don't think I've ever had these outside of a movie theater before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, here's the one I was, I was talking about. It's Goobers. Now I did. I love these. These are so good. Goobers. They're milk chocolate um, coated dry roasted peanuts. And they are so good. So it's just chocolate covered peanuts. They get chocolate all over your hand. They melt really fast. So what I would do, I would just open them up and just pour them straight in my mouth because if you tried to hold them in your hand, they would just get chocolate all over your hand. But yeah, I love these. I really do. Goobers are really good. I haven't had these in God, probably 30 years. <laughs> That's crazy. Yay, all right. Now here's one I am not familiar with. Annabelle's Rocky Road Handmade Milk Chocolate Coated Marshmallow with Cashews. Interesting. Original flavor. So, marshmallow and cashews coated with handmade milk chocolate. That sounds really interesting trying to see where this was made. Uh, but it has the ingredients and everything in English and Spanish. But I don't know where it was made. It doesn't say. That looks really interesting though. It's, it's very, very soft, which if it's marshmallow, that makes sense. So it's going to have chocolate over it and cashews in there? That, I bet that's a really interesting combination. Very nice. Very nice. Next. I don't know this one either. This looks like a Yankee thing. Is this something from up north? Jimmy Sticks. I do not know this one. Is this something from up north? Milk chocolate and peanut butter covered pretzel sticks. I'll be darned. So let's see. So it's okay, it's just pretzels with peanut butter over it and then chocolate over that. And I'm assuming that's Jimmy. Jimmy sticks. Let's see. It's from the Boyer Candy Company, Altoona, Pennsylvania. 
it's a Yankee thing, I knew it. You can just kind of tell Yankee candy. I'll just, I don't know. Y'all have distinct stuff up there. I'm running out of room. Let me move this box. Okay. The next one is an Uno bar. You know. You know? Original rich creamy chocolate. Is this pronounced Uno or Uno? I don't know. Tell me I know. I don't know. This is also from the Annabelle Candy Company, Hayward, California. Well, okay. Original rich creamy chocolate. Well, it's not just chocolate because it's very soft. Uh, it has milk chocolate in it, hydrogenated vegetable oil, and other stuff. I don't know. It's very soft like marshmallow or something. I don't want to squish it, but that's not solid chocolate. There's something else in it, but I don't know what. I, I don't know. That one I am completely unfamiliar with. And then we have a Fifth Avenue bar. Now, I have had Fifth Avenue bars. This is crunchy peanut butter in a rich chocolate coating. These are pretty good. It's not my favorite, but it's actually not bad. It's pretty dense. This is two ounces. The Uno bar was, or you know, is 1.35 ounces. Gosh, I see these all the time in the store, but I couldn't tell you the last time I had a Fifth Avenue bar. It was a long, long time ago. And then finally we have, look. This is from Annabelle's. Look! Dark chocolate. This is rich dark chocolate covered with nu- co I'm sorry. Rich dark chocolate covered nougat with peanuts. Yeah, it's a little squishy. So you have nougat in here with peanuts and then all of that is coated in rich dark chocolate. And again, this is made by the Annabelle Candy Company in Hayward, California. Yeah, we don't have these here either. That's one I've, I've never seen this one before. So that's pretty cool. So if I were so inclined, I would have a whole bunch of new stuff here to try, but not tonight. I'm not going to do it tonight, but yeah. Look at all these wonderful candy bars that we got in the candy box. Oh my goodness, so many. So many goodies. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see all these wonderful treats today. So many good things. Wow. So many yummy things. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you again really soon.